Hey everyone, today we are going to talk about 10 facts you may not know about the solar system. The background is so distracting, right? Look at all those stars. Get out of here. Shoot. Firstly, we are going to talk about the sun. As you can see right here on this beautiful screen, we have the sun. Sun is the star at the center of our solar system and it is responsible for the earth, climate and weather. The sun is an almost perfect sphere with a difference of just 10 km in diameter between the poles and the equator. Next up, I present you with the one and only Mercury. In times a century, Mercury can be observed from the earth passing across the face of the sun in an event called a transit. Guess what? The next will occur on the 9th May 2016. Those who are watching this after the 9th May 2016, haha, too bad. Alright, that's it. Enough of Mercury. We are heading for Venus. Even though Mercury, ah, uh, Mercury again, is the closest planet to the Sun and Venus ranks second, Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system. You know how hot? 462 degrees Celsius, you know? It's so hot, it's gonna blow up. Ah. But I'm hotter. <laughs> Not like someone. Okay, okay, Venus is too hot. I'm gonna get burned and turn black. Ah, let's move on to Earth. Did you know Earth is undergoing retardation and is happening almost unnoticeable at approximately 17 milliseconds per 100 years? Although, the rate at which it occurs is not perfectly uniform, but it doesn't concern you anyways. The effect of lengthening our day happens so slowly that it could be as much as 140 million years before the length of a day will be increased to 25 hours. By then, you guys be dead! Haha, <laughs> hopefully. Next, we have this red guy over here, Mars. Mars homes the tallest mountain in our solar system, Olympus Mons. A shield volcano, 29 kilometers in height, 600 kilometers in diameter. Despite having formed over billions of years, evidence from volcanic lava flows is so recent, many scientists believe it could be still active. Wait, active? What the? <laughs> Next, we have Jupiter. Would you believe me if I tell you that Jupiter has the shortest day of all planets? I would if I'm you, because I said it. It turns on its axis once every 9 hours and 55 minutes. The rapid rotation flattens the planet slightly, giving it an oblate shape. Pia. And then we have Saturn, not the 666, but the great Saturn itself. Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun, and the most distant planet we can see with our naked eye. Oh, Saturn located, Saturn located. Let's destroy it. Boom! Headshot, yay! Bye bye, Saturn. You dead! Now we're coming for Uranus. Uranus makes a trip around the sun every 84 Earth years. During some part of its orbit, one or the other of its poles point directly at the sun and get about 42 years of direct sunlight. The rest? Oh no, so dark, I can't see anything. Yo, I'm afraid of the dark. Let's move on to Neptune. You know the size of Neptune? No, right? Let me tell you, it's smaller than Uranus. However, Neptune has a greater mass than Uranus. If we compare them on a really really big wing scale... Hey, what? I just bought that wing scale. I mean, China. RIP wing scale. Never mind. let's just move on to the moon. Here we have the moon. The rise and force of tides on Earth is caused by this guy. There are two bulges in the Earth due to gravitational pull that the moon exerts. One on the side facing the moon, and the other on the other side away from the moon. The bulges move around the ocean as the earth rotates, causing high and low tides around the globe. Oi oi oi, enough, enough! Oh no, tsunami. Look, this is all your fault. Ah, stupid moon. Oh well, here are the 10 facts about the solar system we have to present to you guys. We hope you enjoy our presentation. Thank you. Oh yeah, wait, the stars, you guys can come back already. Thank you.